This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, yesterday we have seen <clears throat> how to create uh, lock objects and we have seen how to use the lock objects in our repository objects. Okay, so in continuation to the dictionary objects, now let us see how to create foreign key relationship between two tables. Okay, so we create the foreign key relationship between two tables uh, to maintain data consistency. I repeat, we create foreign key relationship between two tables to maintain what data consistency means when do we go for foreign key relationship is whenever the data of one table is dependent on the data of other table we go for what foreign key relationship i repeat whenever the data of one table has to be dependent on other table data we go for creating the foreign key relationship between the two tables okay and in order to create foreign key relationship between the two tables the prerequisite is the two tables should have at least one field which is having the same domain okay to create foreign key relationship between two tables the prerequisite is the two tables should have at least one field which is having the same domain okay the field names need not be same but the domain must be what same then only we can create the foreign key relationship then as part of this foreign key relationship there are two tables involved one is check table another is foreign key table okay so what is the prerequisite the two tables should have at least one field which is having what same domain and in one of the table that field should be what primary key field in one of the table that field should be primary key table and that table we call it as what check table where we maintain what unique data and on the other table we create the foreign key and that table we call it as what foreign key table i repeat to create foreign key relationship between two tables the two tables should have at least one common field which is having the same domain and in one of the table that field should be what that common field should be what a primary key field field name need not be same okay so that in one of the table that field should be what a primary key field and in that table only we will maintain all the unique values because primary key doesn't hold any duplicate values and that table we call it as check table or we call it as parent table and on the other table we'll create the foreign key on the other the common field and that table we call it as what foreign key table so to understand this let us create our own tables okay let us create our own tables to create the foreign key relationship so let me take some two tables so assume like this assume that i'll create some two tables like something z645 underscore department and another table i'll create z645 underscore what em okay in the first table i'll create some columns like department number department name department name and then location okay and okay so this is the table so assume this is the field this is the field and assume that we have data element and we have what domain so assume that i'll give the data element of this field as z department number underscore d and domain i'll give it as z department number underscore dm something okay and this department name i'll give it as something z d name underscore d and domain i'll give it as something z d name underscore dm some different names i'm getting okay 
and location let me give it as z location underscore d and domain let me give it as z location underscore dn so first of all let me create this table so i'll go to sc11 i'll create the table let me give the table name as z645 one second So I'll do one thing. I'll give the table names as something Z645 department and the other table let me give it as Z645 EMP. They are the two tables I want to create. So Z645 department is the name of the table. Let me create this. I'll give some description. Delivery class, I'll give it as customizing table, display maintenance allowed. I'll create some fields, department number. Let me give the data element as Z department number underscore D, underscore D. It is not available. Let me create the department number. So let me double click on that. Create the data element. Provide some short description. Domain. I can give same name, but just to differentiate, I'll give a different name. Z department number underscore DM is a domain name. Z department number underscore DM is a domain name. I press enter. No active domain is available. Done. Okay, I'll double click on this. One second. Yeah, I'll double click on this domain which is not available. Create the domain. Short description. I'll give a description. I'll give it as something int4. Activate the domain. And domain is activated activate your data element data element is activated then I'll create another field D name I'll give it as Z D name underscore D not available let me create this Domain, I'll give it as something Z D name underscore D Z D name underscore D done not available. Okay, I'll do one thing. Let me give it as D M just to differentiate. Not available. Double click and create the domain. I'll give this as something character of 20. Activate the domain. Come back and activate the data element. I'll create another field location. I'll give the domain as Z location underscore, sorry, data element as Z location underscore D. Not available. Double click and create the data element. Domain, I'll give it as something Z location underscore DM not available. Create the domain. Activate the domain. Activate the data element. So all the three fields are created. Then let me give the technical settings. APPL 0, 0. Let me save it. Done, it is saved. Then we have to give the announcement category. So I'll go to Exos. Let me choose the announcement category. Then every table should have minimum one primary key. Let me make department number as primary key. 
activate your table table is activated now let me maintain some data in this okay so what is the primary key field here department number is the primary key field let me maintain some departments create entries Yeah, department number 10, department name, I'll give it as sales. Done. Then 20. Database record created. Then I'll do 30. Then let me give it as something. Three records are there. Then I'll give one more record, 40, done. Okay, so there are the four records available. So what are the department numbers available here? 10, 20, 30, and what? 40. There are the four records available. And the primary key field is what? Department number. So let me document this. Yeah, these are the, yes, they are the fields, data elements, and domains. Now, let me create another table called as Z645EM. Done. So I'll go to SC11. I'll create another table Z645EMP. Create. Customizing table. Create the fields here. I'll give the field as EMP number. Let me give the data element as ZEMP number underscore D not available. I can use the existing data elements, but just to understand the concept, I'm recreating them. EMP number, I'll give the domain as ZEMP number underscore DM. Domain is not available. Create the domain. Activate the domain, activate the data element, employee name, Z e name underscore D, data element is not available, double click and create that. Domain, let me give it a Z e name underscore DM not available I'll give the data type as something character of 20 activate the data element and create another field EMP desic ZMP desig underscore D is a data element. Provide the domain. Not available. I'll give it as character of 20. Activate the domain and activate the data element. Right. So we have three fields. Now, each employee belongs to our department. Okay. So let me give another field which stores the department number. So I'll give the department number as name, field name as D number. So in the earlier table, the department number field name is department number which stores the department number here. In this table, wantedly, I'm giving a different name. I'm giving it as D number, D number. What is the data element here? Z department number underscore D, done. Here, I'll give the data element as something Z D number underscore D. So 
the field name is different and even the data element is also different done not available let me double click on this create the data element right domain what i'll do is i'll use the same domain so in this table this is a data element if i double click on the data element what is the domain i gave here z department number underscore dm so i'll try to use that particular domain so i'll give the domain as z department number wantedly i'm giving what same domain the field name is different data element is also different so i'm using the existing domain so just activate the data element already the label so let me my label is not compulsory let us maintain department number done yeah. activate the data element. so the thing we have to understand is i am using the same domain z department number underscore dm then let us provide the technical settings data class and size category provide the announcement category then every table should have minimum one primary key done activate your table the table will be activated now at this stage these two tables are independent these two tables are not interrelated there is no link between these two tables okay so what i'll do now is i'll maintain some records in this table so i'll go to this employee number i'll give sorry sorry i'll maintain the data utilities table contents create entries i'll give employee number one employee name i'll give it as raju some designation i'll give the department number as something 50 50 okay let me save it then accept it then i'll insert one more record create entries i'll give two some data i'll give the employee number as something 60 right accepted database record successfully created i'll enter one more record i'll give the part number 50 then it is accepted okay so if you see this table this table has got some three employees Two employees belong to department number 50 and one employee belongs to department number 60. Okay, so I'm able to insert the department numbers as 50 and 60. Now my requirement is, my requirement is, when I enter the data in the employee data, when I enter the, when I enter the employee data in this table, this department number, whatever I have to enter, that department number should be available in the other table. So here, if I try to give, if I try to give 70, okay, it should check whether this 70 is available in the other table. If it is available in the other table only, I should allow to insert here. Otherwise, it should not allow me to what? Insert. So, the data of this table is dependent on what? The data of what? Or other table. So, what I'll do in the department table, I'll maintain all the possible department numbers. So when I'm capturing employee data, employee should belong to a department number. So that department number should be the existing department number. Otherwise, it should not allow me to insert the employee record. In this case, even if I insert 70, it is allowing me to insert because as of now, there is no link between employee table and what? Department table. Okay. So now what I'll do, let me try to create the foreign key relationship between the two tables. So what is the prerequisite that in these two tables, one of the field should have what? One of the field should have what? Common domain. And that field should be a primary key field in one of the table. So if you see here, in the department table, here the field name is department number, here the field name is what? D, D number. So these two field names are different, but logically both are what? Same in the sense. The, in the other table, DPT number will store department numbers. Here also, D number will store what? Department numbers. So they are logically related. And apart from that, what is the domain of this particular field? Z department number underscore DM. Okay. Here also, here also, 
the domain of this field is what z department number underscore dm so it is a common domain field name is not same data element is not same but the domain is not same so i can create the foreign key relation what is the other prerequisites in one of the table that field should have be what primary key field so this table is having what department number is what primary key field so i'll consider this table as a check table because this is a table which will store all the unique department numbers understood so in one of the table the logically related field should be what primary key field and that table we call it as check table because it stores all the master records it stores all the unique values so what are the available department numbers here 10 20 30 40 here it cannot be a duplicate department number because it is having primary key so this table i am calling it as check table so where do we create the foreign key now on the other table on the other table so what i'll do now see here what is the field which is having the common domain this only now so you select that field okay i'm trying to create foreign key relationship between the two tables okay so i know that this field is having what d number is having what common domain so i'll select that field select that field then here 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 you can see we have a button what foreign keys okay select that field click on foreign keys when i click on foreign keys okay, it is asking short text let me provide the short text foreign key between emp and what department done check table what is the parent table here the parent table is what z645 department is a parent table z645 department is a parent table then i'll click on what generate proposal okay when i click on generate proposal what it will do it will check for the field which is having the common domain so when i click on generate proposal see what happens done so it is proposing the fields what is this the check table is what z645 department the check table field is what department number the foreign key table is z645 emp and the foreign key field is a D number. So the field name is different. The data element is also different, but the domain is what? Same, domain is same. So just click on continue. Just click on continue. So foreign key was transferred. Foreign key is what? Established. Let me activate this. Done. So foreign key is created between the two tables. So when I create the foreign key, when I create the foreign key, it will not check for the existing entries in the table. It will check for the entries only after creating what foreign key. So I created a foreign key now. So when I try to insert the new records, now, now it will take care of the foreign key. Okay. So whenever we create the foreign key relationship, whenever we create the foreign key relationship between two tables, SAP will maintain referential integrity between the two tables. I repeat whenever we create foreign key relationship between two tables sap will maintain referential integrity between the two tables okay so according to referential integrity it will not allow us to insert the child row in the foreign key table when there is no corresponding parent record in the check table okay so according to referential integrity it will not allow us to insert the child row in the foreign key table when there is no corresponding parent record in the check table so what i'll do now here here i'll say i'm in the foreign key table now emp table as table contains what is this create entries table contains create entries done I'll give the employee number. Let me give it as something 18. I'll give the employee name. Okay, de de employee designation. Now you can see D number. I'm having some list of values here. Okay. So when I browse this, I can enter only what 10, 20, 30, 40. These are the entries from what? Check table. Suppose now I'll enter, I'll enter 35. It will check whether this 35 is available in the check table. Since it is not available, it is giving an error. Entry 35 does not exist in what? Check table. Okay, so I can give only the existing entries. I'll give 20. Yes, 20 is available. It will accept. So I got the record. Database record successfully 
created. Okay, let me enter one more record. Department number, I'll give 19. It will not allow me to insert because there is no 19 in the department table. I'll enter 30. It will allow. Database record successfully created. So, this is one of the point related to referential integrity. It will not allow us to insert the child row in the foreign key table when there is no corresponding parent record in the check table. This is one point. Actually, in the other databases, there is one more concept. Whenever we create the foreign key relationship between the two tables, it will not allow us to delete, it will not allow us to delete parent record when there are corresponding child records. For example, if you see the department table, what is the available department numbers 10, 20, 30, 40? Do we have any dependent data here? If I go to contents, yes. Related to 20, we have one employee. Related to 30 also, we have one employee. So what I'll do now, I'll try to delete 20 from the department table. So when I try to delete, it should check whether there are any corresponding child records in the foreign key table. Yes, we have one record here. We have one record here, 20. So it should not allow me to delete. But here in SAP, it will, it will delete. But in other databases, if you take the other databases, Referential integrity will take care of this also. So I'll choose 20. I'll try to delete this table entry. I'll click on delete. It is asking the confirmation delete the entry. I'll say delete entry. What is saying a database record? Deleted. Okay, so we are able to delete. Understood? So it checks only for what? Only at the time of insertion. When you're inserting the child record, it will not allow us to, it will check whether any corresponding parent record is there. If the parent record is there, then only it will try to what? Insert. So this is the concept of what? Foreign key relationship. I gave the detailed notes here. Check table, foreign key table, screenshots, everything is there. You can just go to that later on. Done. Any questions related to foreign key? So interview point of view, what is check table, what is foreign key table? Check table is the one where all the unique values are maintained. So whenever you're trying to insert the entries into the child table, that is foreign key table, it will check the existence of that record in the parent table, that is check table. If there is a valid record in the parent table, then only it will allow us to insert the child record in the foreign key table. Sir, what about the, yes, sir. Uh, one question I have. Uh, sir, what about the record that, uh, that, that uh, uh, the department number which we have deleted now, which is in the employee table, will there be any problem in the future? Because the department number does not exist now. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, no, the department I, number which we, have, which we have removed from the, uh, from I, the I deleted from department table. Right, right. So uh, in the in the employee table we don't have that I mean uh, that particular department number is not existing so but we have the D number. Will there be any problem, teacher? Sorry, I didn't get your question. See, I deleted I deleted department number twenty from department table. Okay, Correct. so what I'm trying to say is this twenty department has got some employees in the employee table, but Correct. still it has allowed still it has allowed me to delete the records. So this exactly. is not the case in other databases, but here it will allow me to delete even there are any dependent child records. So what is the doubt in this? Huh, the, the doubt is now the 30 number, whatever we have removed it, that is existing in this employee table. Will that right. be any problem? Will that be no, any problem? No, there won't be any. No, it will not be a problem. It will not be a problem. But when you go to table maintenance, okay. when you go to table maintenance, you can check for these values. Okay, I'll do one thing. So if you see here, we have 50, 60, 50, 70, 20, 30. Okay, so even 20, 70, 50, 60 is also not there in what uh, department table. Only 30 is there. Okay, 
So here it is not giving me any error. It is here in SC level it is not giving me any error. But let me go to, let me try to generate table maintenance. I believe there it will give the problem. So I'll go to utilities. Let me generate the table maintenance for employee table. I'm generating a table maintenance for employee table. Function group, I'll give this. I'll go for two step, find screen numbers, propose the screen number. It is generated now let me just go to sm30 and try to maintain the table i believe it will give me errors there because there are some employees whose department numbers are not available in the parent table so i'll go to sm30 this is a table and click on maintain table is cross client client independent done so I'll go to, okay, it is not showing that column. Yeah, it is not showing that column. Let me give new entries. Okay, I'll just go back. I'll try to save this. It's not giving me error also. Here also it is not giving me any error. Okay, I'll click on new entries. Okay, employee number 15. Employee name I'll give. Department number I'll give it as something 20. 20 is not there. Here anyway it will give error. This thing that entry 20 does not exist. I'll go back. Okay. I'll do one thing. I have generated two step. Let me go for uh, one step. Then I'll check. I'll go back to the table maintenance. I'll delete the Yeah, yeah, I'll do stick up. I'll do. Let me go for a single step, one step. Let me go back, activate this once. Utilities, stable maintenance generator, function group. I'll choose one step. Find screen numbers. Create the table maintenance. Done. So table maintenance is generated. Now go to SM30. Okay. Then I'll try to save this. Okay. Right. This Srini is there. I'll modify this to Srinivas. I'll try to save this. No, it's not giving any problem. Mm -hmm. It is not giving the problem. I'll change the department numbers. 50 and modify to something 80. You obviously, this will give error. Yeah, because it is checking for the department number. But other columns, it is not giving me the error. I'll just go back. I'll choose 30. It should allow me to save. Now, this manager is there. This manager, I'll change it to employee. I'll click on save. No, it is, uh, Srikant is not uh, checking. Only if you change the department numbers, only it is checking. But other columns, it is not checking. So in table maintenance, also it is not checking for the existing records. Only when you are trying to insert the new records only, it is checking that. Okay, so here if I enter, non-existing department number obviously it will give what error entry entry does not exist so in table maintenance also it is checking only for the new records not for the existing records 
Raghavendra, is it fine? Yes, sir. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Sir, I have one more question, sir. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Uh, this is regarding uh, one uh, index. Can I discuss because that, that is a previous session? But can I discuss or you discuss offline? Oh, no problem. Tell me. So, uh, in case of uh, a table which is having a, uh, a client dependent field also, for that one, if we are trying, um, and there is one employee number in the particular table, tab uh, the table, suppose employee number is a table, and employee is a table, in that one we have uh, man a mandatory uh, client client independent uh, field. Apart okay. from that, we have employee number, both are primary keys. So okay. if I, if, yeah, if I want to make employee name also the, prim uh, the primary key, so okay. in this case, in this case, the, uh, the primary index will be uh, the primary index will be getting created. So it's a composite primary index, is it? Yes, uh, it will create the primary index based on the combination of those three columns. Combination of three columns. So only one primary index is there, but not for independently. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Only one primary index, and that is for okay. the three fields combination. Okay. Okay. So right. I was thinking, uh, yeah, clear, clear. I will not like it, it will not create separate primary index for each primary field. No, okay. 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 If the combination of all the primary key fields, only one primary index will be available. Okay, all right, yeah, thanks. 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 Now, so, uh, now let us go for another dictionary object. So we understood about lock objects, foreign key table, structures, table type, table type we have not discussed. No? Okay. So let me go for creating what table type. Okay. So what is this table type means? Already we know internal tables. Okay. In our uh, repository objects, we'll go for creating the internal tables. Whenever you want to deal with what multiple records okay so in what cases we'll go for internal tables when you have huge amount of data on the database instead of doing the processing directly on the database we will retrieve the data into our temporary table called as internal table once the data is stored in the internal table we'll process your internal table with the different statements like sort modify update delete all those things then we'll update it back to a database similar so internal table is what local to your program the lifetime and scope of that internal table is within the program okay once a program execution is finished the internal table will be destroyed okay similarly at the database level we have something called as table type so what is a table type a table type is a internal table structure. A table type is a internal table structure created at database level. Okay, a table type in the, is a internal table structure created at what database level. Okay, so let us see how to create the table type. So again, it is reusable. Any dictionary object is what reusable. So let me create the table type so why do we create the table type whenever you want to use the same internal table structure whenever you want to use same internal table structures across the programs you'll go for what creating the table type just like your standard database table standard data element standard domains standard uh, what uh, type group there are many standard table types given by what sap itself Okay. For example, we have a table type LVC underscore T underscore LVC underscore T underscore what? Drop. LVC underscore T underscore drop. It's a table type. Okay. Which is associated with what? A line type. Okay. We'll see what is that line type. LVC underscore T underscore drop. LVC underscore T underscore FCAT. Like this, there are many standard table types given by what? SAP itself. The developer can create what? Their own table type. So let me create a table type. So I'll give the table type name as something ZT type 1. Something. Okay. ZT type 1. 
yeah zt type 1 i'll click on create button then it is asking what do you want to create data element or structure or table type already we know how to create the data element how to create the structure now i'm going for a table type then short text okay so i'll give the short text table type with single field done so now what i'll do is here this table type this table type i can create by referring to a line type or i can refer to a direct data type or i can refer to a class or an interface i can refer to a class or what interface i repeat once again a table type can be created either by referring to a work area i mean to say structure or i can refer to a direct data type or i can refer to a reference to a class or what interface so as of now what i'll do is i want to create the table type which can store only what single field of type what character single field of type what character so what i'll do you see i'll choose what predefined type understood so this is a table type then there's a tab called as line type in the line type tab only i'll choose what predefined type okay so what field you want to store only character field so i'll say something character of what 20 done so my table type is what created let me activate this that's all so my table type is created which is capable of which is having only what one field which is having only one field and that field is what type it is of type what character what is the table type name z t type 1 z t type 1 okay so i want to use this in my repository object so let me create the repository object that is executable program so i'll say z use t type 1 executable program okay so now uh, forget about table type assume that you want to create an internal table. One second. One second. Yeah. So you want to create an internal table which can which will have only one character field. Okay, you want to create an internal table with only one field of type character. So how do you do it generally? You will say types. Okay, try to understand types begin of something ty underscore something abc. Okay, you will declare one field. Assume that I will declare f1 of 20. f1 of 20. Type what? C. One second please. One second. f1 of 20 type c then let me say end of what ty underscore what abc done so this is my types declaration how do you create the internal table now data what t underscore sorry data t underscore abc type what table of ty underscore what abc then i require a work area so i'll say w underscore abc type what ty underscore abc so what i did here i created a types declaration with one character field then i declare an internal table and work area now how do you store the data here here you will say clear w underscore abc okay and then you will say what w underscore abc hyphen f1 equal to something this one then i'll say append w underscore abc to t underscore what abc done 
and then like this you may append what n number of what records so let me append some records done and in order to display it you will say loop at t underscore abc into what w underscore what abc then you will say write w underscore abc iphone what f1 f1 and then close the loop so what i did here i created one local types declaration based on the types declaration i created an internal table and what work area work area then i'm looping and what updating so let me check it activate this so when i execute then i got the data okay this any of we know now what i'll do instead of doing like this instead of doing like this i want to go for what creating the table type okay so let me create the table type one second please yeah so already i created the table type what is the name of my table type z t type one which is having only one field character field okay so let me use it in my program so i'll say data try to understand data t underscore abc type type what z t type one okay t underscore abc type z so if you want to create the internal table so far we are saying what type table of so far we are saying type table of now we are i am calling this itself as an internal table because it is referring to a table type what is a table type it is an internal table structure created at what database level so i am calling this as what internal table then let me create a work area how do you create a work area w underscore abc each line of this internal table is a work area na? so i'll say like a line of like line of what T underscore ABC. So this is nothing but what here? Work area. Okay, the first one is internal table and this is your work area. So I'll say W underscore ABC. Okay, equal to let me check whether I can store the data like this here, Raj. Then I'll say append W underscore ABC to T underscore what? ABC. Uh, already appended, done. Let me say clear W underscore ABC save it check for the syntax no errors done let me append some more records right i will loop it loop at t underscore abc into what w underscore abc end loop then I'll say write what W underscore ABC. That's all. So when I execute, then no errors. Right. So I'm able to access the data. Understood. So this is nothing but what internal. Excuse me, please. I'll switch on the laptop. Just one moment. I'll switch on the charging. Where we are. So, here what I did here, I created a table type. Table type is nothing but it is an internal table structure created at what? Database level. So, I create the table type which is capable of holding only one field which is of what type? Character. Then I am using the table type in my repository object. So, I declare this. I am not using type table of remember but still I am calling it as internal table because this variable is referring to what? table type where table type is nothing but what internal table that's why i am calling this as what internal type so in this case i created the table type with only what one field i can also create the table type which can hold what multiple fields suppose here i'll say 
z type 2 z t type 2 create what do you want to create table type only then i'll give the description table type you got multiple fields okay so earlier i went for predefined type now this is object oriented here we have to give the class or interface so we will not understand let's ignore it right i'll choose what line type here i need to give what a structure line type is nothing but a structure so i'll give the structure name as something z s type something z s type i'll press enter what is saying row type is not active row type is nothing but structure work area it is not active or does not exist so just create it double click on this create the type yes local object save it what do you want to create structure why structure why structure because i want to store what multiple fields that's why i'm going for a structure already we know how to create the structures okay so i'll just say emp i'll give the fields what are they i'll give the field as emp number types just now created some data elements now i'll use it z emp numbers for d then i'll say e name types what z e name underscore d then i'll create another field emp desig types z emp desig underscore d d e done so i created a structure with how many fields three fields let me save it as usual for structure also you have to give what announcement category so i'm giving the announcement category let me activate the table let me activate the structure Got stuck. Okay, let me unlock it. So I'll go to SM twelve. I'll go to SM twelve list. Selecting the entry and deleting the lock on that object. Let me reopen and go to SC11. Z table type 2 done. This is my structure. Double click on this. Yeah. Save it. Check for the syntax error. Enhancement category is what? Missing. Let me give the enhancement category. Activate your structure. So I created what a table type which is referring to a structure. Activate your uh, table type. So what is the difference? Earlier table type was directly referring to a direct direct type character file. Now it is referring to what a line type. Line type in nothing but what is structure. What is the structure collection of what fields? So now what I can do? I can use it in my program. How do we use it? It's very simple. See this. So this is already one table type. Now I'll say uline this year data t underscore emp type type what is the second table type z t type 2 z t type 2 then I want a work area now so I'll say w underscore emp like line off line off or t underscore emp okay I can declare like this okay let me comment it I can declare like this or 
or I am having the structure also now. So I'll direct say W underscore EMP type. What is the structure? ZS type. Huh? ZS type. That's what now. So if you see the table type, not this one. So if you see the table type, Z take type 2, it is associated with the structure what ZS type. So that's what I am referring here. Done. Then rest of the part is simple. Clear what? W underscore EMP. W underscore EMP. Also W underscore EMP. What are the fields in that structure? Employee number. Okay. W underscore EMP. Iphone employee name. Then W underscore EMP. Iphone employee designation. And append it. Append W underscore EMP to T underscore EMP. Let me add some records. Done. Let me loop and display. Loop at T underscore EMP into W underscore EMP. This W underscore sorry W underscore EMP I for employee number W underscore EMP I for employee name EMP I for employee designation and more. So when I execute, I got the right. So output is not important here, but we are trying to understand how to create the table type and how to use it in your program so first table type is referring to a predefined type of type character that's why i'm able to store only what one field of type but character in the second table type i created the table type referring to what line type line type is not nothing but what here structure structure is nothing but what collection of what fields okay so i'm referring to this table type in my program so directly i'm saying t underscore emp type so and so this is nothing but what internal Table. So how can you say this is an internal table because it is referring to what table type and this is referring to what line type that is nothing but work area nothing but what work area that's all okay so we understood the purpose of what table type when do we go for creating your own table type when you want the same internal table structure to be used across the programs then we'll go for what creating the table type most of the time we'll be working with what standard table types given by sap but in your project if you want to use the same internal table structure across many objects you can go for what creating the table type referring to the line type or whatever it is i can also create the table type by referring to a what class or interface okay so those who know object oriented what you can do you can select the radio button reference type here you can give what class or what interface means this table type is going to hold the objects of the class or what interface it's the container of what objects or what uh, interface objects of uh, container of objects of referring to what class or what interface done so this is about the table type tomorrow we are having the class tomorrow what we'll do is we will see how to create the views and how to use the views in your program. So once we are done with the views, we'll see buffering and uh, what, how to create the search help and other things, okay? So tomorrow we are in the class same time, we'll discuss what, views, how to create the views. Any questions for today, please ask. None. Chill out. So I'll wind up. We'll continue tomorrow at same time. 6.45. Around 6.45.